Welcome to We Create Wednesday. Today we are taking inspiration from the Helen Keller Art Show currently on display at Wiregrass Museum of Art and we are creating something very tactile, um, salt paintings. So here's an example. I'm going to set this over to the side. What you'll need is a dark piece of construction paper, uh, something underneath your workspace just to keep it clean. You'll want some Elmer's glue or just whatever you kind you can find. Um, it's much easier to work with one that has a nozzle. Uh, you have more control over the lines and more precise lines. You'll need some regular old salt, um, watercolors, and then something to catch the extra salt in. So it can be whatever you have that will do that. Um, so first what you want to do is figure out what you want to create. So you're actually drawing with your glue at first, which is kind of fun. And I'm going to do a simple flower here. And you want to make sure ooh, <laughs> that you have enough glue for the salt to actually stick to. Okay, I could fill my entire page, but I don't want to waste your time. I want you to get to creating. So once you have done this, your next step is to take your salt. You want to make sure you get a good layer on there and try not to get it everywhere. That's, that's the trick. <laughs> I like to make sure everything is good and covered. So if I see any kind of... Um, salt sticking up, I just go right back over that, and that looks pretty good. Now the next step is where you can make a mess, but we are not going to. <laughs> I'm going to move my little salt dish here. It's just a little plastic um, platter that I have, and I'm going to tip. Okay, and I'm also going to go back the other way, a gentle shake, and there we go. A little bit more. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, here comes the fun part. Um, salt absorbs water. So, what you get with this when you go in to use the watercolors to color it is it almost looks like magic. Um, but because salt is going to absorb that water, uh, what you see is uh, the color actually moving across the salt lines. So, I'm going to start with my green. And I like to make sure it's good and wet, and then you just kind of dab. Look at that, isn't that fun? And when it's not moving too much, then you know it is time to go back. You want to very gently just dab. You don't want to push. Uh, you don't want to actually move like normal brush strokes. You don't want to do that. Just kind of dab. Basically, you're just getting that water on that salt. Um, if you push too hard, you might move that salt around because, you know, the glue is still wet, too. So you just want to be very careful so that you don't mess up your creation. So when you have it painted the way you want it to be, you just set it aside and let it dry. Um, you can see there's some little salt... Um, crystals that are kind of around and you know depending on how thick your paint is there might be some that didn't quite adhere that's okay it's super easy to um, shake them off once it's dry but you want it to dry first this is another one that I did earlier with um, fireworks and I already shook a little bit off and you can see it's right there but you can just do that you can brush it if you want to um, just a little shake will kind of get rid of any of those <laughs> We'll tap, right, we'll tap if there's some that are just not adhering well. And then once you've done that, it is good to hang. So I hope that you all um, join us and make your very own salt painting today. If you do, remember, be sure to tag us on Instagram or post it directly under the Facebook post. We want to share your creations with the world. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.